the UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters fly all types of missions. On opening day in Cincinnati, the mission is clear. It's clear blue 22, great, missions go. Chief Warrant Officer Maggie Evelyn will be one of the pilots in the sky with a bird's eye view of all the festivities. Oh man, I see a bunch of raging fans. <laughs> Wait, usually a lot of this and a lot of this. The pre-game flyover includes two Blackhawks from the U.S. Army Reserve, eight 229th Assault Helicopter Battalion out of Fort Knox, Kentucky. They're known as the Flying Tigers. We really want the fans in the stands to know that we are these part-timers. We're the TPU soldiers for one week in a month, two weeks of the year for, for most of the part. Captain Jeffrey Winmuller will be radio command on the ground. It's about an hour and a half flight time to the ballpark. Timing is key. Right as the last notes of the national anthem are sung, look up. We like to slow it down, take our sweet time. We want people to see us, and we want to see those smiling faces on the ground. This is our video from two years ago when the Blackhawks were invited to the opening day party. You can see and hear the crowd's energy. It's the greatest American ball game, and we have the, the greatest military, so. I just want them to look up and be proud of the military and be proud of uh, who who serves and, and it's just great. Listen for the buzz, then cheer for the Reds and our hometown men and women in uniform. The flyover is presented by GE Aerospace and the helicopters feature their T700 turbo shaft engines. Join us tomorrow for a full day of Reds coverage, starting with Good Morning Cincinnati live from Great American Ballpark. You can also watch the Finley Market opening day parade starting right here at noon. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.